All right, so I'm gonna start off with a, a big pile of mushrooms, and then I've got three cloves of garlic here too. I'm just gonna dump that in the bottom of my crock pot, and then I'm just gonna spread this out over the bottom. So rabbit's super lean, and to me it's somewhere between chicken and turkey, uh, and you can look at it and tell it's all white meat, you know, just like chicken would be. And then, so what I'm gonna do is just a really simple like brine rub thing. You kind of treat it, like I said, just like chicken or turkey. I've got some salt, some garlic powder, some Cajun seasoning, and some black pepper. I'm just gonna mix that up and rub all over this. Okay, we're just gonna sprinkle this all over and get it good and incorporated inside and out. All right, so that's pretty well covered, and then I got inside the cavity pretty well too. We're just gonna set that right on top of our mushrooms and garlic. And then to that, I'm just gonna dump one can of cream chicken soup in on top of this. And I'm gonna actually keep this in the fridge overnight and then put it on as I go to work tomorrow. It actually cooked for about 10 hours while I was at work. Nobody was here to cut it off. I was worried that it was gonna dry out, but I've already tasted it, and it's, it's really, really good. Um, the mushrooms release like a ton of water, is, or I guess it's water, mushroom juice, whatever you want to call it. And then so does the rabbit, releases a little bit. So it's fine to put that whole can of condensed soup in there with no moisture because there's going to be plenty when it's done. But I'm just going to get this out and kind of slice it up. Maybe it may fall apart on me. We'll see what happens. It's going to. Man, I mean that is as tender as it gets right there. And then I'm just gonna stir this up with the mushrooms and stuff. And then I'm just gonna get a big spoon of these mushrooms. And then get to slicing on this rabbit. So I'm just gonna take this back leg off because uh, I cooked it and I'm calling the back leg on it. So it's gonna be just very similar to a chicken leg and thigh. It's just gonna peel right out. I'm gonna plate that up just like that. Hope y'all enjoyed.